Today I'm going to show you how to install sink on a countertop. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a laminate countertop and install the sink properly. Before we do that though, we're going to need several measurements and best to measure four times and cut once. Um, so we'll go ahead and get going and get her done. So the first thing you need to do is know the size of your sink. A standard sink uh, for majority of homes is going to be 22 inches deep by 33 inches wide. If you have a manufactured home, it could be roughly 19 inches deep by 33 inches wide. And you can also have oversized apron sinks. But today we're working with a 22 by 33 standard sink. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to find center line on the cabinet as I want everything to set center on his. So we'll mark that. We'll mark how deep the uh, from the front of the uh, the countertop behind to where the back of the base is. I don't want to end up cutting this and be, end up being out here with the lip. So I want to do this measure, make sure I'm going to be within the countertop when I'm cutting, and as, uh, the same on the back. So I'll go ahead and do those measurements, get it drawn out, and we'll show you what we got. So what I'm talking about is you want to, when we cut that uh, top, I want to make sure I'm cutting back here. I don't want to be cutting here and end up um, trying to, I won't be able to clamp my sink down to anything. So I need to be, make sure I'm in that cavity behind the base. So now I've got my center marked out. Um, the sink is 33 inches wide. So we'll divide that by two, mark each edge of this, remeasure, make sure we're at the 33 mark, and then we'll measure the 22, make sure um, that's all correct, and we'll double check. We'll make sure we're in that sink cabinet cavity. And then once that's done, um, then we'll take measurements on the sink uh, because there's gonna be clips on it. We wanna come in, we don't wanna cut on 33, 22. We want to cut at least a half inch in depending on where the clips are. going to be reusing the sink it's a this is a nice Kohler stainless steel sink so I've already I've already got a clip on from when I pulled it out so what we're going to do is we're going to take our tape measure and measure into the clip and that's going to be roughly one well actually it is one one half inch what we're going to do now is we're going to measure one half inch off the back one half inch off the front so this one will be end up being 21 and a half and then I'll, I'll draw a line there I'll measure here one half inch in and basically the whole the whole square will be one half inch smaller than it is drawn out on the countertop right now and I'll be cutting on that one half inch in and that that'll allow the sink just to fit straight in and the clips to work in the end you're going to have two lines one is the actual footprint of the sink the exterior and the inside one will be the one we cut We got our lines all drawn out and what I do is I have this oscillating tool that I'm going to go ahead and score that inside line and I'm going to cut through the Formica or the top and that what that'll do is uh, when I uh, put my sawzall on this um, I won't be chipping up any of the uh, uh, laminate um, so I'll just be actually just sawing wood and it'll be super super simple I just want to stay away from any type of chips because this is a brand new top and uh, Okay, so we'll just go ahead and get started. OK, 
Okay, once you get it cut, um, what I did, um, I just went ahead and cut opposite corners uh, all the way through. So uh, I got this corner over here and the opposite corner over here. Both of these are loose, so I can push down on it. Um, both of these I didn't cut all the way. Uh, so if by chance you're by yourself, you can take a couple utility knives, push up on this side and stick in the utility knife into the, uh, into the wood and then just go ahead and let that set right there. Come over to the other side, do the same thing, drive your utility knife in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this far corner over here. Right now, the only corner that's holding is this corner right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that So now everything is loose, the razor blades are holding it on these opposite corners. And I'm just going to come in from below, lift up on the Formica, and take the blades out, and the sink hole is cut. One thing I do want to stress is that if you're going to be cutting with a sawzall, or any type of reciprocating saw, uh, you do need to use more like a bimetal blade with a uh, fine teeth on it. You don't want to go using a wood blade. The wood blade will actually chip the Formica. I learned a few of these from Hard Knox. Um, so yeah, just a fine blade and uh, you should be good to go. So the sink is set, um, everything fit perfect. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't a big deal. You just have to remeasure and remeasure and remeasure and uh, before you cut. So I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. I'll be happy to help you uh, out on that. I put a number of sinks in to being a plumber. Um, so yeah, if you would like it, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of uh, how-tos and a lot of uh, other uh, videos you might enjoy. So thanks a lot, watching DIY on the house.